What's up, warriors? And welcome to another edition of Street Combat Systems. There's going to be some upcoming changes in the channel, but I'll still do the martial arts videos and answer any questions that you may have about uh, martial arts or self-defense. Now, one of my subscribers asked about the haymaker or the roundhouse punch to the back of the ear. It's not something I recommend you do in a fight. Reason being, when you're coming around that far and stretching out, number one, you can't make good contact. Number two, you open yourself up for them to just step in and quick, a quick shot to the head. Like if, if from here in this position, those punches are straight out, they're hard to read, and they're hard to block. If I'm throwing a punch from here to the back of the ear, even if I twist my hips, I'm giving up a lot of power and I'm giving up a lot of speed. So from here, you know, if they're coming at me, I can step in, throw that palm strike real quick to the to the face, and end the attack. If I'm here and I step forward and try to throw to the back of the ear, I'm losing a lot of power. It's easy for them to step in, block, and then give me a smack in the face. So again, it's not something I recommend doing. It's not something I teach. I mean, if you want to throw a hook, it's basically, you're coming in a quick shot, and it's just like, you're hooking that punch, just like you're taking a chunk. If you were hitting a tree, you'd be taking the chunk out of the tree. And I've talked about those in other videos. So, again, it's not something I recommend. Not something I practice. Keep, keep your arms in tight. Keep your, you know, keep your punches short powerful step into it you can from here I can twist twist my hips and throw any type of punch hammer fist regular uh, hook punch you know palm strike I'm turning my hips and pivoting on my back foot into that strike and that's all you need to do and I know I put out a message the other day about the change in the channel one of my first episodes is going to be called Funny or Sad, where we talk about four or five different topics, and I'll rate it as funny as sad, and you can rate it back to me in the comments section whether you think it's funny or sad. Some of you <laughs> may think it's inappropriate, but whatever, you know. I have a kind of crazy wild personality, and I'm going to cut it the fuck loose on YouTube with being appropriate. I just got warnings from my three children are about saying the wrong thing on YouTube so I'll try to keep it as clean as possible with in reason anyway have a great Tuesday evening and I'll see you in the next video